Jeremy, what's up? But can, can you just sum up what this season's been like for you, the opportunities and getting to play with these guys? Uh, I would say full circle. Um, you know, nine weeks ago, I was a practice squad guy fighting for a job every day. And um, yesterday I was playing for a team that was fighting in the playoffs. So it just kind of goes to show you that um, persistence is key, man. Stay down um, and your opportunity will come as long as you just continue to grind, continue to keep your head down and uh, keep working. Hey, Jeremy. Jeremy. Oh, sorry, Sam. Go ahead. Jeremy, for you to, to step into that that starters role, obviously you had a bunch of tackles yesterday too. Kind of how where would you say your your game grew the most throughout the year? Um, I would say more so just personal growth, honestly, than anything. Um, I've always known what I was capable of as a player. Um, I think the guys in our locker room and in our room, especially the DB room, knew what I was capable of as well. So the trust was already there. I think the growth was just, you know, me in general. Um, I was able to look at things from a different spectrum. Um, and I was just able to learn while I wasn't playing. You know, sometimes humbling experiences like that, you know, when you're when you're battling every day to get back out there and go play with the guys, humbling experiences like that kind of give you time to reflect, you know, on what I've done and what I haven't done. And so um, I think I just took steps forward as a person and it translated to, you know, how I was playing on the field. So that was just something that I'm really proud of myself for. And I'm, I'm proud of the guys for, you know, just allowing me to be out there and play, you know, because like I said, nine weeks ago, 10 weeks ago, I was on the practice squad and didn't know what was going to be this year. What, what role did the coaching staff play in all that? Oh, I mean, 100%. Coach Rivera and, you know, um, Coach Del Rio and our, my DB coach, Coach Harris, they played a huge role in that. Um, like I said, after the Dallas game, Coach Rivera could have went any different route. You know, um, I'm a practice squad guy that he doesn't know. All he has is film with me from last year that was very scarce. And uh, I was a different player last year than I am this year. So he put his full faith and confidence in me. And um, our, my DC did as well. And so did my position coach. And, you know, they trusted me, which is, you know, that says a lot about them. And then I think that says a lot about the work that I was putting in when I was here on the practice squad. Um, hey. Done. Jerry, where you say you're a different player, where are you different? And then how did that, you talked about some of the learning experiences earlier this year, how did that help you on the field? What kind of things were you doing that showed up from that? Uh, really just how I attacked every day. Um, my approach to day to day, you know, when I come in to work, these are the things that I feel like I need to get better at. These are the things I saw on film that I need to clean up, whether that's my feet, whether that's my eyes, um, my technique when I'm in the post, um, how I'm coming down out of the post and running the alley, you know, preparing to tackle. I think those are all things that, you know, I practice every day and it translated into game situations where those same situations came up and it was muscle memory for me. Um, so all of those things played a key hand in, in, in me getting out there and performing and, and trying to play at a high level for us to win. Hey, Jeremy, there was a stretch there where there was kind of a lot of public pressure on Coach Rivera to sign Eric Reed. Mm -hmm. and, and he said, I owe it to Reeves because he's put the work in and, and I've been watching him. How does that make you feel going into an offseason looking ahead? Um, awesome, man. Again, for a head coach to put faith in a guy that was a practice squad guy and um, to give him just an opportunity, I, I'll run through a big wall for coach. You know, I'll give coach everything I got because he gave me an opportunity and he didn't have to do that. He had a guy that he knew had played in the system that he was comfortable with and he went with me. And so, like I said, I'll give everything up for him, man. I mean, I'm, I'm super thankful. I'm super grateful for every uh, opportunity that was given to me this year, man, because it didn't have to be like that. And so, like, I tried to play ball to the wall for the man. Thank you. Jeremy, this defense took a big step forward this year. What do they need to do next year to take another step forward? Continue to grow. It's about learning. You know, um, when we were two and seven, nobody believed that nobody believed that we could be here. You know, that's just the reality of it. 
and then our team, our defense took it upon ourselves that we want to be a special defense. We it starts with us. Defense wins ball games. That's just how the NFL and football works in general. So it's all about growth, learning from where you're at now, learning from the mistakes we had this year. We're a young team, we're a young group, and uh, and continue to build on it. You know, experience is everything in this league. So if you if you you know you have something to fall back on, I think that will be a really good defense in the future. Hey, Jeremy, with you guys, uh, you and, and others playing in your first playoff game last night, how different was it for you in terms of feel, build up, uh, when the game actually got going versus even just say like last Sunday night in Philly? Uh, you know, it was crazy. Uh, it felt like a football game. You know, to me, football is football. The magnitude of the game doesn't really matter. You know, we put on pads the same way we put on pads in, in the regular season. Um, so I think it's just it was a it was a regular game. I mean, I mean, granted, I feel like maybe if there were fans, it might have been a little different. You know, we missed them out there for sure. But um, it, it kind of felt just like a normal game man. we went out there and play hard. Hey, Jeremy, how, how, Jeremy, how can this experience of fighting for a playoff spot and then getting it? How can that experience help you guys in the future? How different was that? What can you build off from that? Um, I guess just getting the exposure to it, you know, you're playing playoff football is completely different from regular season football. The intensity is up, you know, there's more at stake. And so there's a lot on the line. So the room for error is, is slim. And I think a lot of the young guys got to understand that yesterday and including myself. Um, you know, that was my first experience as well. So the room for error against great quarterbacks is, is slim. So you have to take advantage of every opportunity you get whether it be, you know, a sack or a, a TFL or anything, because it's a game of inches. Those things add up. Jeremy, what do you think are the next steps for this defense to take as a unit? I'm, I'm sorry. What would you say? What do you, what do you think are the next steps for this defense to take as a unit? Um, Continue to trust each other and continue to play hard. And I think one of the biggest steps we can make is just making the plays when they come to us on defense. Um, we're a young unit um as as a whole so when those players come to us we have to take advantage of them you know this is the league where the way it's set up is that when they come you know they come in bunches and you just got to be ready to make them so continue to prep the way we have we've done a really good job in being locked in and focused um throughout the year and just um being ready to make your play when it comes Jeremy, do you do you think when Ron kind of shifted the focus to pushing for a playoff spot around like week five, was that kind of a turning point for you guys in the season? Did um, honestly, our our mindset the whole season was you know let's go play playoff football. I mean, we knew going into that week five that you know we're gonna be playing playoff football pretty much from that point forward. So the focus. I will say, yeah, it, it did shift a little bit, you know, because now we were locked in on what we were trying to attain as a group and as a team. So uh, I, I would definitely say that, yes. 